Folks, from the nice people at Blackstar Amplifiers, it is the HT Venue Series Mark III 40 watt all tube combo. You, of course, heard it on all the guitar parts on that track at the beginning of the video. Uh, this is the first time that I've done a video for a Blackstar amplifier. I've done uh, like videos for their amped pedals, which are like amplifiers in pedals essentially. But this is the first sort of full-blown tube uh, Blackstar amp that I've made a video of. Pulled it out of the box, I plugged it in, and right away I was greeted with channel one, really nice clean sound. A couple different voices on channel one, more on that in a second. But channel two as well, really like cool balanced overdrive sound, the way I like to hear it. It had a nice sort of British voice to it. Really simple to use. You've also got a built-in reverb with two different voices. It's not a spring reverb. It's got kind of more like a, a really nice hall kind of sound to it with two different settings. There's a darker and a lighter setting. You heard that reverb pretty prominent on the first guitar part that started the song off at the beginning of the video, that clean part. You can hear a nice hall reverb. Purposely, I used no compression, no outboard reverb or delay or any of that stuff on that guitar part. That sound is just pure the way that it's coming out of the amplifier. And speaking of coming out of the amplifier, that sound actually wasn't a mic'd up sound. This amplifier has uh, Blackstar's cab rig technology built in. So there's a built-in DI XLR and quarter inch output on the back that you can take right to your recording interface. You can actually leave the amp on standby. You don't have to, you can use the internal speaker, but if you want to, you can put the amp on standby and for late night recording and stuff, this is genius. You can just take that XLR out in the back, go right to your recording interface and get a great mic'd up sound. Now, the amplifier comes with three different sounds on a switch in the back, obviously kind of predetermined at the factory. I didn't change them, I didn't modify them or do anything to them. You can get in there though, hook the amp up via USB port in the back to your computer, download the software and change up the cabinet sounds, the microphone sounds, there's a whole host of different uh, you know, cab sims and, and whatnot that you get in there and tweak and get some different sounds. And then you can store them as the three presets on the switch on the back of the amp and take them with you wherever you go. Really easy to do. But the ones that it came loaded up with, I thought sounded really good. And I actually recorded with them. Probably like 30 or 40% of the parts on that song at the beginning of the video were done using the cab rig output and the rest of them were all mic'd up. And you guys would want to hear both, both the, the DI out as well as uh, what the, the speaker actually sounds like. Now that first part in the song at the beginning of the video, that's the very first cab rig sound that I tried. It's kind of like an open back combo sound to me. It was like warm on top and kind of rich through the mids. There's another cab rig sound that I use for some of the parts in the song that was a more kind of, you know, big bottom, a little more scooped, sounded like a 412 to me. There's examples of both of those in this track and in this video. Speaker in there is a Selection 7080, that's what it comes loaded with. And that sounded really good to me too. I just threw a mic in front of the cab and uh, actually recorded a part. I didn't take video while I was playing, but I kind of want to show you what it sounds like anyway, because it was just me experimenting, uh, you know, playing through the channels and stuff and turning some knobs and just throwing the mic on and hitting record. And it sounded really good. Let's, let's take a listen to it. No preconceived anything about what it was going to sound like. And it sounded really good to me when I listened to the playback. So I wished I'd hit record on a camera, but anyway, you can hear the tones. <laughs> So 
pretty nice tones right out of the gate. And that was my experience when I plugged this in for the first time. Honestly, I plugged it in, uh, played through channel one for a bit, channel two for a bit. And it was just like, this is easy to dial in and it just sounds good. You've also got a 40 watt down to four watt switch there. So if you want to kind of hit the four watt setting, it'll drop the output down considerably while still getting that kind of tube feel. Okay, so I'm going to play a little more through the amp, uh, solo some of those parts from the song at the beginning of the video outside of the mix, show you the difference between what the speaker mic'd up sounds like compared to the, uh, the cab rig output. Let's get on with it. It is the HT Venue Series Mark III 40 watt all tube combo from Blackstar. All right, so I just recorded my first guitar part in the song, and for that, I'm actually taking the DI out. So when you heard the tune, that's the, the XLR out right at the back of the amp. I had the amp on standby, and uh, it, you know, so you can record silently that way. It's great. Um, but I wanted to compare the tone of the exact setting that I got on the clean channel right now that I used for that DI part. Uh, with the mic sound. So I'm just going to play again right now and then we can go back and listen and compare. sounds like the same amp but it just sounds like maybe a different microphone or a different speaker you know the the recorded di sound is a little warmer and a little mid-rich and it's actually really actually probably preferable for the part um and that's with me not putting any effort into changing the cab sim or anything like that you've got your three selections on the back via mini toggle and it's the first one that pops up when you turn on the amp and just plug it right into your recording interface so i would say it's a great a good sort of warm, neutral choice. So anyways, I'm impressed with it. It sounds really good. I'm gonna continue recording parts now. I wanted to go for a dirty kind of 60s but dirty sounding thing um, on this and I just decided I'd, I'd go to voice number two on the clean channel so the gainier voice but you can get this clean channel to distort and it sounds really great um, for crunchy rhythm kind of stuff. You know I'll turn the gain down about half or rather the volume. Now I'll bring it back up to three quarters of the way up. That's a great sound, you know? If I hit that with an overdrive, this is uh, like a Klon style drive. It's a fun sound. Um, you know, alternative distortion sounds happen on channel one.
Ooh, my ears are ringing. I just cut the lead and I got to stop because I got the amp right beside me, even with the headphones on. It's loud, but, but sounding great. I got the gain up for this last solo here. I'm using the, you know, the gainier voice on channel two. And I just wanted to show you really quicker what this control here labeled ISF does. It's not exactly like scoop mids or something, but it does change the EQ from being like sort of fuller through the mids to being more, I don't know, maybe it is scoop mids. So you tell me what you think. Julie Squire, thanks for watching my video on the HT Venue Series Mark III 40 watt all tube combo from Black Star. Really good sounding combo amp with two simple channels, couple different voices on each channel. It's really easy to use and yet has some really nice modern features like the cab rig output on the back. You got the 40 watt and 4 watt switch there, nice sounding reverb, overall global master, you got an effect loop, Celestion 7080 speaker, what's not to like. You can check out more info about the Venue Series amps at that link down there in the video description below. Great job, Black Star. Hey, thanks for watching so much. I really appreciate it. Please hit subscribe if you haven't hit the little bell beside the subscribe. You'll get an alert when I put out new videos. I am Pete Thorne. Take care.